Who are you in this vast multiverse? Welcome back to Sacred 369. Jordan Peterson quotes. I don't think you have any insight whatsoever into your capacity for good until you have some well-developed insight into your capacity for evil. 2. When you have something to say, silence is a lie. 3. You're going to pay a price for every bloody thing that you do and everything you don't do. You don't get to choose to not pay a price. You get to choose which poison you're going to take. That's it. 4. You can only find out what you actually believe, rather than what you think you believe, by watching how you act. You simply don't know what you believe before that. You are too complex to understand yourself. 5. And if you think tough men are dangerous, wait until you see what weak men are incapable of. 6. If you can't understand why someone is doing something, look at the consequences of their actions, whatever they might be, and then infer the motivations from their consequences. For example, if someone is making everyone around them miserable, and you'd like to know why, their motive may simply be to make everyone around them miserable, including themselves. 7. If you don't say what you think, then you kill your unborn self. 8. If you fulfill your obligations every day, you don't need to worry about your future. 9. What is your friend? The things you know? or the things you don't know. First of all, there's a lot more things that you don't know. And second, the things that you don't know is the birth birthplace of all your knowledge. So if you make the things you don't know your friend, rather than the things you know, well then you always are on a quest in a sense. You're always looking for new information in the off chance that somebody who doesn't agree with you will tell you something you couldn't have figured out on your own. It's a completely different way of looking at the world. 10. It took untold generations to get where you are. A little gratitude might be in order. If you're going to insist on bending the world to your way, you better have your reasons. 11. Life is suffering. Love is the desire to see unnecessary suffering. Truth is the handmaiden of love. Dialogue is the pathway to truth. Humility is recognition of personal insufficiency and the willingness to learn. To learn is to die voluntarily and be born again in great ways and small. So speech must be untrammeled so that dialogue can take place, so that we can all humbly learn, so that truth can serve love, so that suffering can be ameliorated, so that we can all stumble forward to the kingdom of God. 11. No tree can grow to heaven, as the ever terrifying Carl Gustav Jung, psychoanalyst extraordinaire, unless its roots reach down to hell. 12. Women select men. That makes them nature, because nature is what selects. And you can say, well, it's only symbolic that women are nature. It's like, no, it's not just symbolic. The woman is the gatekeeper to reproductive success. And you can't get more like nature than that. In fact, it's the very definition of nature. 13. Intolerance of others, views, no matter how ignorant or incoherent they may be, is not simply wrong. In a world where there is no right or wrong, it is worse. It is a sign you are embarrassingly unsophisticated or possibly dangerous. 
14. To suffer terribly and to know yourself as the cause, that is hell. 15. Don't underestimate the power of vision and direction. These are irresistible forces, able to transform what might appear to be unconquerable obstacles into transversible pathways and expanding opportunities. Strengthen the individual. Start with yourself. Take care with yourself. Define who you are. Refine your personality. Choose your destination and articulate your being. As the great 19th century German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche so brilliantly noted, he whose life has a why can bear almost any how. 16. The purpose of life, as far as I can tell, is to find a mode of being that's so meaningful that the fact that life is suffering is no longer relevant. 17. So attend carefully to your posture. Quit drooping and hunching around. Speak your mind. Put your desires forward, as if you had a right to them. At least the same right as others. Walk tall and gaze forthrightly ahead. Dare to be dangerous. Encourage the serotonin to flow plentifully through the neural pathways desperate for its calming influence. 18. Perhaps you are overvaluing what you don't have and undervaluing what you do. 19. Rule number four, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. 20. If you are not willing to be a fool, you can't become a master. 21. Ideologies are substitutes for true knowledge, and ideologues are always dangerous when they come to power, because a simple-minded, I-know-it-all approach is no match for the complexity of existence. 22. You must determine where you are going in your life, because you cannot get there unless you move into that direction. Random wandering will not move you forward. It will instead disappoint and frustrate you and make you anxious and unhappy and hard to get along with, and then resentful, and then vengeful, and then worse. 23. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. 24. In order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. 25. In the West, we have been withdrawing from our tradition, religion, and even nation-centered cultures, partly to decrease the danger of group conflict. But we are increasingly falling prey to the desperation of meaninglessness, and that is no improvement at all. Thank you for listening. Sacred 369. Who are you in this vast multiverse?